Hey guys, this is Matt from Jack as my co-pilot. I'm here with another episode of Under 20 RC. Today I have an RC racing boat. I am not going to try to pronounce the manufacturer, but this is item number 953. The manufacturer name will be in the description and probably the title of the video also. I bought this on eBay from a US distributor for $12.85 with free shipping. This one arrived in three days. Let's open this up and see what's inside. So like always, the first thing that you want to do is read your instruction manual. I'll give you some of the highlights of the instructions. Observe the voyage track of racing boat when the emitter control the boat. The product contains small part. It may cause swallow or choke. Apart the charger and toy before cleaning. This toy not save to living thing. Always important. Not save to living thing. So here we go. It comes with the boat. Uh, it comes with an extra set of stickers. Here is the remote and charger. The remote takes two double A's. The charger takes four. One of the weird things about this is it actually comes apart. I guess that's a pretty good thing. It also comes with this charging cable which plugs in to the front of the boat there and this peg on the charger. Now it does have an LED indicator here which will turn on while it's charging and it will turn off when it's done charging. Even once you turn it on this isn't going to respond to the controls. The reason being it has two electrodes on the bottom and this will not go until there's a connection between those two which is caused by the water. You could also use your fingers. Now there's an actual servo inside of this boat which gives you the turn for the motor. And then you also have forwards and backwards. Now this does sit pretty well on top of the water which is good because none of this is waterproof on top. Water can get right into the charge port and where the wires come out for the motor and also where the wires for the servos come out there's a huge hole so it's definitely you definitely have to make sure that this doesn't go uh, underneath the water so let's check it out here goes nothing Look at that. That does go backwards. Wow. It doesn't have a rudder, so it won't steer at all with the rotor off. That's pretty straight. Alright, I'm at uh, six and a half minutes of runtime now, and okay, yeah, I lost steering, so it's probably out of juice. About 20 minute charge time and six and a half minute runtime. It's pretty good. There you have it, little miniature remote control boat. Thanks for watching.
On the back of the package, along with the description, it says that you can play with this in the bath. Enjoy cruising whenever you have the interest. And it has a compact palm size for unique pleasure. You want poop? <laughs>